y'all, Serena here from Make Plant Create. I'm in the garden today to do a little bit more fall cleanup before I actually get my fall garden planted. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut the flowers. I started some seeds and I'm gonna get those transplanted into the ground as soon as those are ready. I'm also gonna do some direct sowing, but before I can do that, I am out here addressing some garden cleanup, particularly addressing these echinacea flowers that have mostly gone to seed like this one. So I am going to deadhead these flowers. Smell them. Aww. Smells so pretty. There. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm coming through here and deadheading most of these. These can probably just kind of pop off. But um, each of these seed heads has a bunch of seeds on there. So I'm just gonna come through here, clean up a little bit of this, and collect some seeds. So this echinacea has grown out and it's kind of taking over this walkway. I, I think it's pretty, so I haven't really messed with it. There's a lot of flowers still on there, but as you can see down here, there is quite a bit that have died and a bunch of seeds I can collect. There's actually more variety than just the echinacea flowers out here. I think these are hollyhocks. Um, there's quite a few of these. There's also some sunflower seeds. So I'm actually just going through and throwing them all in this basket and then I'll separate them after I cut them, put them into separate jars for saving. I'm also leaving a few because I definitely want this area to get reseeded. I love having the flowers even though they're in the walkway. It doesn't really bother me. I don't necessarily need to walk through here. So I'm definitely going to leave some for reseeding. Okay, that is quite a few dried flowers that I picked. This is probably enough seeds to last a lifetime, so <laughs> I think that's pretty good. But look at how beautiful this is. Oh, okay. You bring your flower. Mm. Yeah, we're going to cut these flowers. But we're going to save the seeds. So that'll be a fun project for us, yeah. won't it? Going here. In addition to me saving some seeds today while I'm out here at the garden, I am going to plant these potatoes. Um, I already cut them. It's been a couple of days, about two or three days, so they've uh, scabbed over. So hopefully that'll prevent some rot. I have never been successful at growing potatoes. I've attempted it two or three times. Just I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's, I, they grow. I hill them, and I do all the things that I think I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm not giving up. I'm gonna get to planting these right now. I'm gonna plant these in the old watermelon patch. I think we grew five or six watermelons, so I say that's a success. I have one a plant that I think this is what you call a bumper crop. It's a watermelon that is just kind of coming back. So I'm leaving that to see if that'll produce anything. Um, before I realized that that was in there, I had put these two gourds in here. Um, my mom gave me those. Those are for my uncle. So I have these three things growing in here now. And the potatoes I'm going to go ahead and put over here into this tire and we'll see what, what happens. Are you helping mama with the garden? Yeah. What are you doing? I 
I think these are supposed to go down about four or six inches deep. So I need to dig, dig, dig. Okay. I can help you dig. You hold my potato. I'll help you dig. All right. Dig, 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 yep. dig, dig like that. Like a digger. Dig, dig, dig. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold. Here, can you put one right here on the ground right here? Here, put that big potato right in here. Okay. Put it right in there. All right. I think. Just put it in. Cover it up. Now let's do these potatoes. All right, here, let's get one right in here. This one? Sure. Now we have to do the another one. We oh look. It's right here. Mm -hmm. The potato. Yeah, but it is Okay. Hold on. We have to put more potatoes. Okay, hold on. Let's put one right here in the middle. Oh, right here. I found a potato. Right here. Uh oh, only one. Okay, we'll put that one there. And then we'll put one right in here. I found one. There it goes. Okay. Okay, got all those planted. I think that is enough for today. It's pretty hot. Um, still in the upper 90s, low 100s here in South Texas, so it's still pretty hot out. Um, I changed glasses. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> These um, are an old pair of glasses of mine that have transition lenses. So I like to wear these when I'm outside in the garden because, um, you know, I can get them dirty and sweaty and not really care about them. Um, but I had my other glasses on earlier because I was trying to look cute because the last few videos that I've uh, done where I'm in the videos, I look really, really bad. So <laughs> kind of wanted to uh, redeem myself and kind of look a little better than I've been looking but you know when you're out here and it's a hundred degrees and you're just sweating it's kind of like a uh, just kind of throw cute out the window so anyways um, done for today we'll see you guys on the next one Let's see.